All right, today I want to show you a quick and easy way to solve for the coefficient of static friction between something like a block and a ramp. You see, if I take this ramp and tilt it up, at some point, the block's going to begin to slide down the ramp. And knowing only the angle of the ramp, we can go through and solve for the coefficient of static friction between this block and this ramp. So let's take a look at a free body diagram of the block, and I'll show you exactly what's going on and how we can get the coefficient of static friction from that. So what we have here is a block against a rough surface, like a ramp. Now if we were to take this ramp and to tilt it steeper and steeper, inevitably at some point that block is going to slide down the ramp. And the angle at which that block slides down the ramp is what we call the critical angle. And today I want to go through and derive an equation for the critical angle of this block against the hill as a function of the coefficients of friction and any other variables that might play a role in this problem. So to get a better understanding of what's going on in this problem, we need to draw a free body diagram for our block on the hill. Now in order to determine the critical angle at which this block is going to slide, we need to take a look at Newton's second law. And what I want to do is look at Newton's second law, not within the y-axis or the x-axis, but I want to look at Newton's second law within the plane of the hill. So taking our forces and plugging them in here into the sum of all forces side of Newton's second law, we're going to have the force down the hill minus friction equals mass times acceleration. Now the reason I've structured these forces where we have one minus the other is because the two forces are in opposite directions. So we're saying the force down the hill is in the positive direction and the friction force is going to be up the hill in the opposite direction. So I'm saying it's in the negative direction. Now remember, in this problem, we're solving for the angle at which this block just starts to slide down the hill. Or really right at that instant when static friction breaks free and it becomes kinetic. And right at that moment, the acceleration is zero. So ultimately what this means is our force down the hill is equal in magnitude to the friction force. Next, let's expand out these two terms. We know the force down the hill is given by mg sine theta and the friction force is given by mu fn. So substituting these terms into our equation will give us mg sine theta equals mu fn. Now realize the trick in this problem is realizing that fn can also be expressed as a function of the angle of the hill and the mass of the block. So substituting this term in here, we get this term, and you'll see mg cancels out on both sides. And if we want to relate mu to theta, we need to combine the cosine and the sine. And we're left with this, mu is equal to the tangent of theta. Or rearranging this for theta we get, theta is equal to the inverse tangent of mu. Now realize this coefficient of friction is static friction. <laughs> so ultimately what this result tells us is the maximum angle to which we can tilt this ramp before the block starts to slide down the ramp. So this is the critical angle problem. I hope you found this useful. And on that note, that's all for now.